All right, so there's still some sound in the background. I'm sorry for that. Um, uh, let's see, today I'm uh, going to ramble about some stuff. Uh, not, feeling, not feeling really good. Um, well, actually, I'm feeling crap right now. Uh, I've been suffering for, from a depression for 20 years, so... So what you're seeing right now is my uh, my YouTube history. Yes, I, I'm a, I'm a gearhead, so I, I, I watch all sorts of different videos. This here is one of my kids watching on my telephone. So unfortunately, it's set to my uh, my own YouTube. Uh, it's set to my own uh, Gmail account, so there's a lot of uh, car stuff, there's some camera stuff, some Magic the Gathering, here my kids are watching child videos, as you can see, there's loads of stuff in here, but what I wanted you to see was this, for some reason, um, this came up in my uh, view it's it's about uh, two and a half weeks old it's a uh, basically a disaster movie um uh, yeah oh look Michio Kaku is there I'm putting this somewhat softer because I don't need to hear it all that hard but uh, I know all this stuff so um yeah it's all the same stuff, you know. FUD, fear, and uh, whatnot. So there, there, there were a couple of things I wanted to show you that's it, that are in here. So th obviously, this is all about, uh, you know, radioactive sand, radioactive water, the spread of contamination, etc. Look at this guy. This guy here, not not this guy, it's fine. Some people don't understand what is happening, but this guy here, he says, well, I'm here somewhere south of San Francisco and look at this black sand. I put my Geiger counter up to it. Look, there's the ocean. Here's the black sand and here's the Geiger counter. And all this stuff is radioactive. Well, he, 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 he just presumes that this stuff comes from Fukushima. Where, in fact, this is just monazite sand. It's a type of sand that has a lot of thorium in it. And thorium is a naturally occurring radioactive isotope. So all he is doing right now is measuring the radioactive decay of thorium and its daughter products. So nothing really spectacular is going on here. If you go to Garapari Beach, which is somewhere in uh, in Brazil, they have very high uh, monocyte uh, concentrations. So naturally, the radioactivity at that place is even higher. Now there's there's also all sorts of stuff like dying birds and dying seals and whatnot. Uh, most of the, these things, this is coral. He's he's telling people that these are starfish, but it's actually coral. Now, most of these die die offs are. Oh, and there's the you see the National Oceanic Administration uh, uh, precipitation wave stuff going on. But let's pause it right here. Not not because of her cute face, because I'm not interested in that. But. Um, if you see mass die-offs in the sea, that is possibly due to, or there can be a lot of different causes of such events. Now, radiation is, generally speaking, not one of them. Um, you can think about hypoxic areas, so areas that are deprived of oxygen, naturally fish and uh, other wildlife cannot uh, live in hypoxic areas. There's also toxic algal blooms. Um, sometimes you see oil spills which kill 
birds and fish and other marine life. But there's also the possibility of, you know, an earthquake or something else, you know, um, creating sudden pressure waves on the water, which in which fish and other wildlife get caught and die all of a sudden. So there's a plethora of reasons why these mammals and fish and other creatures might have died. But I'm pretty certain that radiation is not, not, not among them. So let's continue because uh, let's see, there, there was this, this all, all this stuff going on here. This is about the uh, water tanks being hastily built. Um, almost every, almost all radioactive elements that are in there are tritium which is basically a radioactive isotope of hydrogen, which occurs naturally, by the way, but we'll, we'll get back to that later on. Here's some kind of an expert who wants to scare people on uh, Russian television. Um, let's see, compulsory picture of uh, the containment building being, being done, uh, compulsory, uh, scare pictures let's see uh let's see here we are today yes oh look at the china syndrome yeah that was a great film wasn't it not really radioactive water look there's a dead fish oh, all these dead fish yes yes don't know what that's about rat net shut down rat net shut down whatever or tide pools being dead well that can have multiple, uh, let's see. But it was this, oh, here it is. This is the best thing. Let, let's see, and finally, September 23rd, 2018, leaving Korea, all seems well. This guy has brought a Geiger counter on board of, a, of an airplane. So he's taking off from Korea and getting up to altitude takes a while in an airplane. It's not, you know, you, you go up to 10 kilometers, 10,000 meters, or what is it in feet? 30,000 feet? Yeah. Yeah, 30,000 feet. You go up in the air. And, you know, he's getting on altitude. So the counts per minute for, for his Geiger counter obviously are going up. And here's the tell. Here's the telltale. He 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 thinks the entire Pacific, or the air above the Pacific, is now highly radioactive, because they are flying over it and uh, at ten thousand kilometer or, or at ten thousand meters above uh, sea level, this Geiger counter shows high counts per minute. So, this is normal. When you go on an airplane, depending on how you set the thing, it will show you a certain figure, depending on how you set it. Now, if you're higher up in the air, you get more cosmic radiation. And it's pretty simple because the Earth's atmosphere basically filters a lot of this cosmic radiation out. And he's still, you know, somewhere up in the air, 10,000 meters, still showing these idiotic stuff. Okay, let's pause it here. So naturally, the, uh, the radiation is higher up in the air, much, much higher than it is down on the ground. And um, yeah, th this, got <laughs> this got the cake. If you fly often over the Midwest, the Western US, and the Pacific Ocean, you might want to consider taking potassium iodine in order to help rid your body of all that radiation. Well, that's just the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. So just for reference sake, if you didn't know this already, I presume that most of the people who follow this channel know this. If you take iodine pills in the case that you, in, in, 
Suppose that you live downwind from a nuclear reactor and a meltdown occurs and God forbid something exits it. So you get a radio, you get a release of radioactive particles, radioactive elements. Uh, one of these elements is iodine-131. And what happens is once you ingest iodine-131, it goes to your thyroid gland. Your thyroid gland is basically the iodine uh, magnet of your of your body. So what you do is, if you swallow one of these potassium iodine pills, your your thyroid becomes saturated with iodine. So all the rest of the iodine doesn't get caught in your system, and you basically pee it out again. So Thus, the iodine pill protects you from radiation. No, it does not, obviously. It just makes sure that your thyroid doesn't get saturated with iodine-131. But that doesn't protect you from, out, from the radiation that comes from the outside. Now, since people have been flying around for ages people have been exposed to higher levels of radiation for ages. Now, there's all sorts of radiation that, that comes in. I mean, we're talking about gamma rays, we're talking about neutrinos, we're talking about UV, infrared, you name it. You know, radiation is all over the spectrum, by the way. It's, it, it basically consists of everything we can see, which is only like, I don't know, 10% or, or even less of the total spectrum of radiation that we, you know, that we are bathed in. And ionizing radiation is just a very small part of it. But nonetheless, we are bathed in ionizing radiation all day and nothing, nothing, nothing bad really happens. So, yeah. Uh, Taking a pill doesn't help you get rid of radiation in the first place. That's bullshit. Now, this this video, what bothers me is like, first of all, this guy has got like 10 times as much subscribers as I have now. Um, it's fairly simple. Fear sells, you know. This is sensationalism. Um, I bring I bring the dull facts. I, I, I try to help my viewers. Um, what I do is I share my journey with my viewers. You know, I'm trying to understand this world better. And while doing that, I share what I find with my viewers. I share how I find it. And I share how I view what I find. Now... On the other hand, we have these kinds of, you know, channels that what they basically do is they gather all they can find, which looks negative and, you know, can be misconstrued in, in one way or another. And they just put it on the Internet just to scare people. And I don't know, whatever they do. So... Yeah, I mean, this is this is this is filed under the category education, but you know, this video is full of bullshit, basically. You know, telling people that uh, monazite sand, radioactive monazite sand, or, or basically naturally radioactive monazite sand, is somehow related to Fukushima, which is not true or trying to make people afraid of flying over the Pacific or flying over 
the U.S. and taking iodine pills, that's just bullshit. I cannot say it any plainer than that. And um, yeah, it bugs the hell out of me. First of all, that it shows up on my suggested suggested videos i mean i I'll, I'll show you what my suggested videos feed looks like i mean yeah i don't i don't view um, anti or pro nuclear videos that often to be honest because i want to be fresh i don't want to you know get my information or get pushed or whatever i mean there's just a few things that i watch i watch gordon mcdowell's videos who is obviously he's one of the best archivists of the nuclear age and i really hope that he keeps doing what he does because his work is amazing i watch uh, a, a channel called which is called thunderfoot which is basically a he is a nuclear chemist or a physicist you could call him the reason why i watch his video is because his videos despite all the other stuff that he talks about it's mostly about science which is really fascinating and i watch bionerd 23 who is a person who goes into chernobyl a lot and you know films what she does over there which is very very interesting so but those videos generally don't uh, end up on my feed that much because it generally pro-nuclear people aren't that active on YouTube most of my time on YouTube is being spent either watching Star Wars videos people who are talking about Star Wars people who are talking about Game of Thrones or Dune, for instance. Some Lego stuff. Yes, I am 37 years old, but I still like Lego. Oh, no, sorry. I'm 36 years old. But yes, I still like Lego a lot. I watch videos about people using cameras and how to use them well because I want to learn how to become more proficient using my camera. I watch gearhead videos especially those you know uh concerning cars how to do how to keep your car running uh, how to keep your car in top uh, top shape and i like um uh computer hardware i've had a computer shop for years um you know i've been an it guy for a long time so yes yeah, sometimes i still dabble around in some computer hardware that's just stuff that i like so generally i'm a gearhead those are the kinds of videos i see more more often than not so right now i'm looking at you know this fukushima update 20 2018 it's all dead exclamation mark and i'm i'm just bothered by it i'm already in a bad hat space and I find that this guy has almost 7,000 subscribers. There's 7,000 7, likes in this video now. And, and, and almost, and, and, and more than 300,000 views. 300,000 views. Who's watching this stuff? Is it all fake? Is it all real? I don't know. I, I can't tell you because I don't know how to check this stuff. I'm going to try and check it later on, just thinking about it right now. And if we, you know, let this stuff run. So first of all, here's the text. And then there is the biblical reference. Even so, come Lord Jesus, Revelations, I don't know, 2022 or something. Then there's this anecdote from some kind of a sailor. Uh, it just bugs the hell out of me. And then, uh, and then we get this. Uh, this is the end, of course. Uh, yeah. And the truth shall make you free. John 8, 32. Jesus is the way. Well, Jesus has nothing to do with it. 
Uh, Jesus didn't exist. I'm sorry for all you friends of mine who are religious in any way, but you know, if he existed, he was some kind of a some kind of weird preacher, and uh, all these stories that people made up about him. I, I think that perhaps I don't know two, three, maybe four percent of it of it is true. And if it is true, it, it uh, I put money on it not being the exact Jesus that people think that it was. But that's beside the point. I'm I'm just oh yeah, and comments are disabled on this video obviously um, yeah and from this so obviously you get a lot of uh, a lot of uh, different stuff understanding the accident of Fukushima Daiichi doesn't look like something bad to me I mean I see diagram pretty good diagrams of the of the reactor so suppose this is not too bad the Fukushima death cloud while well, it's by Thunderfoot so I basically can accept it out of hand I, I probably watched it let's see what the else is nuclear energy is not what you think hoax I'll be watching this the 12 most radioactive places on earth well I'd like to I'd like to visit them all and then there's you know uh, oh, here's something else, you know, Fukushima is a progressive extinction level event, whatever. This is just bull crap. So yeah, um, ignore this crap. It's not worth watching. Um, I told you, I, I would, I would show you what I was looking, what, what I was, you know, watching. So here it is, you know, test drive, some CNN crap. Uh, I don't know why Stormy Daniels is in here. You can see I only watched half of it. It was boring. I didn't like it. Uh, here's some Lego. Here's some car building stuff. Here is uh, Thunderfoot. Here's a guy talking about cars. This is about cars. This is about cartoons for my kids. This here's a mismatch of everything. Cult of Dusty, some guy talking about religious crap. This is about, you see, computer hardware. Oh, surprisingly, here's some camera stuff, computer stuff. Yeah, camera stuff, CNN, hardware, years. This is all Gordon McDowell, as you can see. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. It's the best there is. EV blog, very good, very good. This guy knows a lot about electrical engineering, which is the main reason why I watch it. But as you can see, he makes fun of solar roadways as well. So, yeah, don't know why Fox News is here. Could California's decline spread to the rest of America? Hmm. I don't know, but but as you can see, there's almost nothing nothing here that would suggest that I'm looking that I'm looking at uh, anti nuclear stuff. I'm generally not interested in it, so you don't see me responding to it that often. But there it is. Um, yeah, in any case, he's got. 7,000 subscribers. I have 700 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. So do me a favor. If you know, uh, share these videos, like them, you know, uh, subscribe to my channel, check out my Patreon page. I don't know if you have ever seen it. I mean, uh, here's my Patreon page. I haven't really watched it. Um, uh, see that there's all kinds of messages in here you know by my San Francisco trip this video on which I'm making right now um, I'm going to put up here because th this will be the first video of, of October that I really made despite feeling crap as hell I mean I'm I'm really feeling crappy I, I visited a uh, soccer match last night for the first time in four years and it was not good well the match was good I mean the team won but uh, 
yeah so there's not much happening here uh there you see uh, sometimes i don't make that much out of uh out of uh, youtube but you know i'm happy with whatever i can get um there's just no secret by the way because you can see uh, what tier people are and i don't fault anyone for doing more or less i am happy with whatever i can get uh from people so that's that's awesome whatever you want to give i'm happy with it uh in any case i'm going to uh yeah i'm going to uh, call it a day because i still have this to finish i was working on uh on a blog for the fourth generation uh fourth generation blog so uh, yeah that's it i really uh i really would like to thank you all for watching and uh have a nice day and be well please Bye-bye.